Have you ever struggled with finding underground pipes and cables and felt there had to be an easier way? Well, today's your lucky day because in this video, we're going to show you the easiest way to do just this. The short answer is, how would someone else start to find them for you? As we kick off the video, place in the comments below, what's your secret to find underground pipes and cables? It's always interesting to hear just how you like to find them. Finding buried pipes and cables might look easy on the surface, but it's not as straightforward as it looks. Some of the difficulties people face when trying to find these services are, the existing utility plans might not be that accurate. Utilities don't always run in a straight line and they aren't always at a standard depth. Add in one or more of these problems and without having the right people or equipment to do the job, it gets a whole lot more difficult. And this is why it's important to find an easier solution. What you'll need is dial before you dig plans, some locating equipment, ground penetrating radar, spray paint or flags, someone who can read utility drawings, and finally, someone who can operate and understand how to use the locating equipment. When starting out, it's best to gather all the data about the site before getting any equipment out. We like to follow the five Ps. Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. In other words, failing to plan is a plan for failure. Requesting and reviewing the before you dig drawings is one of the first steps you need to do. It's the essential first step. Before you dig Australia. It's in the name. We love BIDA. We probably do about 1,200 dial before you dig or before you dig requests per year. By the way, I try to say. By the way, I try to say. These plans are just to be used as a guide only. During the locating process, you shouldn't be using them to be digging straight off the bat. You want to be reviewing the plans, checking them out, and just using them as a guide. A bonus tip out there when you're doing your data gathering process, find out if there are any as-built drawings or site information stored on record. A good example of this is in some administration buildings or engineering departments at schools or universities, you can occasionally find the utility drawings in folders hidden away somewhere. So have a look around, speak to people and see who can help. You might even be able to get some detail on underground pipes from property titles and council drawings who aren't always members on Before You Dig. Step number two, work out which pipe or cable you want to find. Ask yourself a few questions. If I was a water pipe, where would I be hiding? The water is fed from the house from a water meter. The water is fed to the house from a water pipe that comes from the water meter. The water meter comes from the town's water mains out in the street. Once you have that picture in your head, it's time to walk through and see what features you can find. Step number three, have a walk through the site. What can you see? Trenches, signs of disturbance, surface features such as taps, water meters, markings, plaques, stickers or engravings. All these paint a picture of what might be underground and what steps you can take to find these underground pipes and cables. Now the fun part, start locating. Locating underground pipes before you dig has been proven to be the efficient and easiest way to find them. They say hindsight is 2020, but knowing where underground pipes and cables are, that's 2023, baby. Depending on the utility you're trying to find, you need to determine what is the best method to try and find these pipes and cables. There are a few key locating methods that when applied can locate underground pipes and cables accurately to within a few millimeters. Direct connect, induction clamp, induction, passive, GPR. And depending on the material, depth, and where they are located, each of these methods will come into play one way or another. For metallic pipes, such as our example earlier, or electricity and communication cables, they can be found relatively straightforward using standard electromagnetic locating methods. And for the trickier to find services that are maybe non-metallic or difficult to locate, we have ground penetrating radar, which is perfect for those plastic water mains and gas pipes. But by far, the easiest way to find underground services is to get someone out on site that has half a clue. More like a full clue, someone who is certified at locating these pipes and cables. Hmm. A certified locator. 
someone who can utilize each method and deliver an outcome to ensure your safety, time and energy is all protected. Hopefully the information in this video has helped and I've saved a few blisters on your phalanges in the future. And if I've done my part, please hit that subscribe button below. I guarantee it won't be as, as hard on those digits as digging blindly is. And if you have used any methods to find underground pipes and cables in the past, I'd love to hear how successful that was for you. Share in the comments below. I'm sure there's some ripping stories of encounters with that spicy dirt. And what exactly is spicy dirt? You can see it. It's electric. Everyone in construction has a story of a particular underground pipe or cable that we live with forever. Please, I'd love to hear yours. So the reason using precision locating methods to find underground pipes and cables, and better yet, having a professional or someone to find them for you is the best way is simple. It's going to save your valuable time, your hard earned, and most importantly, it saves your backbone. I broke my back. A vertebrae or, or well, a portion? Spinal. When it comes to digging on your project, get the job done right the first time. It makes life so much easier. You have a line on the ground with an indicative depth. You dig down and find it. Job's done. It saves a whole lot of blood, sweat and tears and makes your job working around these underground services that much more efficient. You could also try and save some time and money by having a go yourself, as long as you know what you're doing. But some guys just make it look easy. And oh how easy it is, on the other hand, to butcher a job with some house locating. Check this out. Secret, you got to be careful with who you choose because you might blow up half the neighborhood. Check out this video that covers the worst utility locating ever. But in all being serious, utilizing the locating space correctly is a major component of any excavation project. Following the process of requesting the before you dig plans, finding the pipes and cables through locating, verifying the location through potholing, and excavating safely around these services, it's the best way to keep your job on budget and on time. All these steps go hand in hand. Having professionals manage this is honestly the best way to find underground pipes and cables. If you want to see what the best locating method is, you might want to check out what's coming up next.